how to embed a calendar and form in Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement and also embed a Google form or a calendar into your Canva website. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com and simply you are going to sign in for an account in this platform. Once you have signed in, you are going to see here the dashboard. And from the dashboard right there, you're going to create your website. If you have already a website, you're going to visit it and also implement these elements to it. But in case you don't have, you're going either to create a custom size website, for example, by 1366 by 768. This is the suggested form or the size of the website from Canva, which is right there. Or you can go ahead and type only on the search bar at the top website simply right there and then you are going to click on enter and you're going to see all of the uh, templates that are available in Canva. we have thousands of uh, as you can see here templates and you can choose from them as you want you don't have to uh, copy and paste all the elements right there or publish the same website but you can get the advantage or take the advantage of the colors uh, the um, as you can see here uh, the gradients and also some elements that you are interested in so in my case I will go back here to the main menu and choose one of the websites that I have like this one this salon website and I am going to modify it and add it to it the calendar and also the form how we can do that we are going simply to create a page for our website I'm going to set up here a page for our website. I'm going to click on add. This is for the calendar and I'm going to, to add a page for the form. Let's start for the calendar. We are going to visit Calendly, which is the most known uh, website to uh, set up the appointment uh, calendars and also booking calendars or booking appointments this is uh, very well known you're going to create your appointment or uh, the calendar of your uh, say here events or whatever for example here we have maybe a hair salon so we are going simply to create an event and it is going to be a event type so we are going to uh, create each month individually a calendar so here we are going to set up a one-on-one -on -one or one host with one invitee, which is going to be here for the salon and also the, um, the client. We're going to set up this and then you are going to name the event. For example, hair and nails, uh, for example, uh, like this. And for the duration, we are going to put here a custom duration. It is going to be here uh, maybe 19 minutes or 90 minutes, which is one hour and 30 minutes. And for the location, we are going to put it here in meeting or in person meeting, which is going to be to our location address, which is, for example, New York, like that. Let's say that the uh, store is in New York or the salon is in New York. We're going to click on update. Then we are going to click on continue right here. We, as you can see, we have the, the panel. We have here the event details. We have the uh, date and time for the time. You can go ahead and set up the scheduling. So we are going to set up the weekly hours Friday. So here we have it. And then you are going simply to set whatever you want from here. You can set a buffer time, a minimum notice, or a day limit. And then when you finish setting up everything from Calendly, you are going to set up the booking page options uh, and also notification and workflows, host invitees, for example. And then you are going to click on simply share. And the share link, uh, we have here the link that we need to copy. Or embed to our canva because we need only a link we cannot put an html into canva so keep that in mind we're going to select the page and from that we are going to click on apps then we are going to search for embed 
now we have an app called embed we are going to click on it put the or uh, paste the tile of the url that we have here add to design and you're going to see here the calendly uh, agenda or calendar going up right there so we are going to make it a little bit small to fit every corner not every corner but the length of our uh, page here so if you want and if you want you can go ahead and put the background color to the white to make it here implemented like that so this is it now that was for the calendar now let's go to the form how we are going to implement the form simply we are going to visit google form then we're going to select either a form or create a new one so now let's see if we have a good form here we have a sign up form or here we have a youtube form so let's see here we, the, the, what we have on the sign up form we're going to open it here we have the email the name last name date of birth email again this is repeated so we are going to delete it phone number good how did you hear about us yes this is a very good question uh are you interested in the it domain no so we are going to change the question are you interested in joining our for example community like that and then we are going to set up the choice by this one multiple choices yes and no so we are going to set up this one the sign up form so we are going to let it here sign up form is it that correct so we have two sections this section two is not necessary so i'm going to delete it here we have it now we are going simply to uh, send it so we are going to get a, a something like this one you can go ahead and send it but we are not going to send it but we are going to get the link of it so we have the embedded html as you can see and we have the link so you can go ahead and shorten the link or let it as it is so we are going to try to implement it like that copy then we are going back to our canva we're going to try to put the design right there for the google doc and as you can see it is going to be implemented itself right there so we're going to see that we're going to give it a few seconds and as you can see it is right there maybe we are going to put it a little bit smaller so it will fit all the page for example like that here like that maybe we're going to preview it anyway so let's go ahead and preview it as it is like this from preview so here we have the calendar we're going to wait for it until it will load up in the meanwhile we are going to drop down a little bit on the uh, form as you can see we have the scrollable uh menu or there or the scroll uh, item so we can see that we can go ahead and put it it is interactive for example as you can see right there and here we have it for the submit button we have it right there at the end and for the calendar it is also interactive you can go ahead and click on it and uh, select a session then you are going to click on next put your name here email and also schedule the event so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one